up guys, Drew here, AKA Barnacles, and in this episode of DIY Gasm, we're going into the magic room. You can tell by the three full hearts, this is uh, this this is where the magic happens. Haha, <laughs> I told you. Hey, what's what, what's up with the pussy in my bedroom? It looks a little different than the last time you saw it. It's okay, Miss Barnacles, you can be in the photos. <laughs> you can be in the photos. She's like running around the backside of the camera. So anyway, she promised to help me today get this room in order because a lot of changes had to happen. Sleep number came in today and rebuilt our bed for like, what is this, like the sixth time or something? Well, we've had this stuff forever. Sleep number beds are basically just a bunch of foam with like Coleman air mattresses inside of them and like an aquarium. It's Pump. magical. It's 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 simply magical. But anyways, we're not talking about the bed today because that's for another site. <laughs> this is YouTube. Uh, we're actually gonna be talking about that TV right there. That is a Samsung Q7F 75 inch yeah. TV. Cause she likes them big, huh? Yeah. If you guys have watched my Instagram, you probably remember the TV used to be right here at the foot of the bed. The dresser was here and then we had the TV on it. So like when we were sitting in bed, where Miss Barnacles is standing right there, could you demo, pr pretend to be a TV? Okay, now turn on HDR. <laughs> okay, so that's where the TV used to be, but we had to move everything because sleep number was like, they were like, oh my God, your bed frame needs to be rebuilt. So we need room to do that. So you need to move everything. <laughs> so we had to unbolt it from the floor and move it because of course it was bolted to the floor because the cats tried to jump on the TV and knock stuff over. And she's been wanting the TV in like a realistic location that's not like dividing the light between the room and making it hard to get around. And let's be honest, you're banging yourself on it all the time. Yeah. Not not me. <laughs> like, like she's I was getting banged too much. By the dresser. By lots of wood. <laughs> Do they dance? Come on. Seriously though, buy my shirts. <laughs> All right, so this is our component closet right here. That right there is Puget Systems HTPC that they built for us. That there is a chicken. <laughs> and that is a UPS, I'm guessing. Coming up here, we have a PlayStation 4. We have the stereo receiver, which is kind of the most important part of this, minus the television. And over on the other side, we have a bunch of electronics and USB and all that stuff. Well, that's because I used to have a projector up there on the ceiling. And so that's where all the components were supposed to go. Well, I thought that to put the TV over here, all I need is a new cable to go to this box. This is the breakout box. On these particular televisions, this doesn't have any of the electronics in it, okay? So th this is, well, <laughs> obviously, okay, it does have electronics in it, otherwise it wouldn't be a TV. <laughs> but, so this is the box that sends all of the signals, but it sends all the signals through a tiny little cable here. It's fiber optic and about as proprietary as they come. Well, I looked online and I was like, well, I'll just buy a longer version of that cable. That way I can run it from there over to there and... The more you know. The more you know. <laughs> so I looked up that cable on Amazon. I was like, well, how much for like one that's twice as long as this that would actually reach from there to there, and the answer was three to six hundred dollars. I'd have to start working the streets if you know what I mean. I mean, are you open to that? <laughs> no. Oh, okay, never mind. Well, I'm just, you know, YouTube goes wrong. So obviously I wasn't gonna spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a cable, so instead I went to video only. We bought a bracket that I don't know where it went. Where'd the it's wall bracket here. go? Come on, muscles. Uh, All right, bam! The brand is Anus. Oh wait, hold on. Sanus. <laughs> And a video only, they seem to think that this is like the cat's ass when it comes to hanging up big TVs. It claims to support up to 90 inch and 150 pounds. So we could hang like four Xanders from it. All right, so anyways, this is what we're gonna attempt to install today so that we can put that TV there up on that wall, tilted kind of slightly downward to give us enough room on the, on the the top of the dresser thing. I almost couldn't remember what this was called. <laughs> You know what? We're procrastinating hard because we really do not want to install this thing. It's like it's like late at night. Exactly. It's like nearly ten. Why are we doing this? I don't know. <gasps> We're gonna break something. We're gonna break something. But let's do this. We've got. This. Okay. Let's be positive. We're gonna do this, and this video isn't gonna be an hour long. Wait until they see the tools we're gonna be using to put this thing in. Oh what, my god. Be my girl tools? Oh, we're using the girl tools. I already tweeted them too. You know why? Because I. The punching. <laughs> You're not used to that. No, I don't like it. Hey. What? Up here. Time for the install montage. <laughs> All right, to unscrew the TV, we're gonna need to use the real stuff here. Let's get out of the bad boy. Yeah. I actually thought these were a joke, but to be honest, they actually did work on everything today really well. Yes. So, and I have a feeling they're gonna help us mount everything. So yeah, go Tomboy Tools. I'd, I'd actually like a set in purple. <laughs> oh my God, this thing's heavier than balls. Especially at 10, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. All right. Easy, 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 oh. easy. Easy, easy, easy. Rather okay. Boom. Awesome. Yeah, no. No? No. Step one, completed. 
All right, so that's where this bad boy comes in, is now we need to remove the old base since we're gonna be mounting it to the wall. This thing has a clutch built in that's pretty cool too. It just works. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all of them, let's see. Oh, look at that, look at that. Nice. All right, so now we gotta figure out what we wanna do with the old base. I think we're just gonna go ahead and hand it on over to Xandermans. What are you gonna use it for, bud? I'm gonna use it for race cars. Can you demo that for us? Well, it looks about just right for you. Perfect. It's better than putting it in the attic. All right, now that I removed the base, I'm gonna go ahead and put back the panel, since it's not really in the way of anything, because we're actually using these four holes for the visa mounts. That way we won't lose anything. Wait, where'd these go again? So here's the stuff. That's the wall bracket. Go ahead and take that and show it to the camera. Mrs. Look Vanna. That. There you go. Wow. Right. Bitch, you've never seen one of those before. All right, here's the leg bolts and screws, and even looks like drywall anchors, so we can put them exactly where we want them. Ooh. And then these are the fiddly bits that go on the TV. Or we can take them out of the bag. Did you make up that name just for me? What, what one? Fiddly bits. Fiddly bits? Sounds like that, something I would say. That's the technical term. All right, here you go, fiddly bits. God, it looks so small. I don't know how the hell that's supposed to support like a 100 pound TV, but. Let's hope it does, huh? What it says on the box. China can't be wrong. Oh. It's time to show off. Oh. All right, and then this is all the hardware for all the different like things and TVs and stuff like that. All right, I have to admit this is kind of cool. All the little wall mounts that I've got before never came with a template for mounting them. I actually think that that's really cool. Get it right the first time. Yeah, right. <laughs> I actually like how when you turn the page, the very first thing it says right here, don't stress out, just relax. <laughs> <laughs> this never goes smooth, it never does. All right, so I have one of the armatures attached to the TV. Uh, the instructions is actually pretty simple. Uh, what you need to do though is go through and find through this huge freaking bag of bolts that they give you for like every single make and model possible of TV hardware ever produced. You have to find the right length bolts, which we did. Uh, it takes a longer one at the bottom and a shorter one at the top for this specific Samsung TV. And we even had to use one of the little shims one of these guys and it comes with a bunch of different shapes and sizes. So I'm gonna put the spacer over the top now that I've got my short bolt and my long bolt. So, and there's tons of different lengths so experiment around with them and try to find the one that fits the best without needing a ton of washers or spacers. So let's go ahead and put that in there. I just noticed, wow, it actually stays, it's cool. All right, so you wanna make sure that these little guys are facing down because these are the hooks that are gonna be actually grabbing into the track. So we're gonna put the top one on there because we wanna put the TV as high as humanly possible. Okay, we'll go ahead and get that one just started with our fingers. Then this one didn't require any such spacer, so we're gonna go ahead and just put that on there. Now, technically I should be using washers according to the manual, but the problem is by adding a washer, I get less of a bite with that bolt, or I have to use a ton of washers to use the next longest one. So I'm gonna go washer free on this installation. Wild. Make sure we got no shimmy. It is rock solid. Oh my goodness. You like that? <laughs> They get you excited? <laughs> <laughs> Look down here at these guys. So up here at the top, you see the hook? That's where it's gonna hook over the top of the plate. So that's the topmost part of the plate is gonna hook. So you just wanna measure the distance between there and the top of the television. So I'm gonna grab my trusty little pink, <laughs> what is this called, woman's tools or whatever? What are they, tomboy tools? Tomboy tools. So I'm gonna go from the top, and this is gonna be a little bit rough, but I'm gonna come down, and we're gonna look, and we're at about a little over 14 inches. Just a tiny, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say 14 inches, because I don't care if I'm off by half an inch. The top edge of the TV is gonna be 14 inches, roughly, and a little bit more above it. So I want our TV to be relatively high. I think we decided about right there, right? Yeah. So we want it somewhere in this vicinity. So let's start off by making one small little mark. So I'm gonna say that we do want it right about there. So now we need to make sure that we get it level side to side because we do want this to be in the center of the wall. So let's see how wide this wall is. So let's just call it 100 inches because I honestly don't care if we're off by half an inch. Okay. So we're gonna measure the panel now. Just so wanna know how wide it is. We need another flat surface though. That is exactly 30 inches. All right, so what's half of 30? 15. 15. Look at you, man. You've been helping Xander with his homework. <laughs> and what's half 100? 50. Okay, so we got 50. So what's 50 minus 15? 35. 35, right? So the edge of that needs to be 35 inches in from the edge of this. Oh. See how I did that? Yes. It's like magic. So 35 inches is gonna be right there. So let me hold this. Again, we're going for high precision here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
and we want the top edge to be right there. We got our little our little pointer. So our top edge to be right over there. That even if we're off by a little, we can go to the left or to the right a little bit. That's the nice thing about this design is it's not perfectly centered. You can actually slide it. All right, so now we're missing something. We need some tape to hold this in place, young lady. So we're gonna need some of your pink tape over there. Could you go grab that for me? Yes. Also, could you grab the level for me, please, my dear? Yes. Because we don't want to make sure that our TV is level with the earth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put that little spirit level on there. We're just gonna dork around with it just a little bit. There so there, go. the bubble's in the middle. We got the right distance from that side and the right distance from that side. Well, roughly, you know, give or take half an inch or a foot. <laughs> so we pull one right there. Wow. I know, right? We pull one right there. Okay. Just like a so. This is where the OCD starts kicking in this late at night. We're Good night enough. people, but not really night people. We're night people in watching the TV, not hanging the TV on the wall. <laughs> so what I like about this method is it actually gives you this lightweight template so you can find the studs drill the holes in, then back them out after you've drilled and put the plate up there and put it in place and the plate's exactly where you want it, where normally the plate would be the template and the plate is way too heavy to tape to the wall. And we got exactly 35 on that side, so it's perfect. And then just one last time, we're gonna check level. Bubbles in the center, bubbles in the center, so we're good. Now, we gotta do the fun part, and that's finding the stud. Now, you could use a stud finder. Unfortunately, I own like three of them and I couldn't find any of them, so we're gonna use the medieval stud finder which is a hammer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna search for a stud by tapping on the wall with a hammer. You'll listen, put your hand against the wall, and it's hollow and you'll feel the vibration go all the way down the wall. If you just keep moving over. There's a stud right there. So now, take our little drill. Oh, I feel wood. Check it, look at that. We got a wood core Ooh. on the end. That means we hit wood. Another good way to check is just to put the bit back in and just shove it in there and notice it doesn't go any further. Oh. There you go. We hit pay dirt. I'm gonna go a little deeper though. <laughs> okay. Now if we found a stud there, chances are we're gonna find a stud right below it because studs are straight. That's if the builder did a good job. They don't always do a good job. This is a hammer drill, by the way. This is not the application for this drill. We got dirt. <laughs> I mean, we got wood. <laughs> it's getting late. What is it, like 11 now? First two. Now we need two more somewhere over here to keep us going. So let's go ahead and pull out the medieval stud finder. I'd like you guys to know I hit both of those without a stud finder, okay? I am a stud. We didn't practice or anything. Nope. <laughs> Okay, okay, I pra I did, I pra okay, I practiced, but I didn't actually find that stud. No, I found that's a different what I meant. Stud. Okay, yeah, 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 sure. yeah. Stop trying to show the internet the magic process here, okay? You can tell, you hear the sound difference? Yep. So that's a stud right there. You gotta be careful when you're drilling, because oh. there can be things in the walls like metal conduit. Let me make sure this is wood. Kind of sounds it, like it. Lucked out, it was stubborn wood, but yep. Which yep. means the one below it should be good. Yep, and I got wood. So there's our four holes. So now we gotta do is peel away our template, save it for later, and now we have four holes that we should be able to just put the metal plate up there, drill it into place, and be done with it. So this is the hardware for attaching the plate. It's got four lag bolts right here. That's why you have to pre-drill. If you just tried to run these right into the wood, you probably split the beam. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is pre-sink a couple of these, just using my little ratchet here. You could choose to use a socket if you want, um, or even if you have a drill and you have the, the right size socket for it, go for it. But I personally like to feel it as it's going in. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make sure if it's getting too tight, I don't hurt something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just keep going until it's grabbing wood. Around, this is the manual part of this job. Okay, that's good. This is the magical plate. Sometimes mm -hmm. they have an upside, sometimes they don't. Which side is up on this thing? To me, it looks perfectly symmetrical. <laughs> Did you wanna look at the direction? I don't think I need to, because it's it's exactly the same. Okay. It's, a, it's a mirror image. I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so the reason that I like to pre-drill those top holes is because now when I put it up there, and we remembered it's on the inside of the first two, now, now I can kind of put it in there finger tight like this. Oh. Like that, and then take, grab another one. Cause see, if this, is, if this is a one person operation, it's kind of difficult, right? Yes. So now what I can do is just hang it. 
Now it's exactly where I want it. I can grab my level and make sure that I haven't screwed something up along the way. The level says I'm almost perfect. So what I can do is I can, I can adjust it just a tiny bit too as I'm screwing it in. But see, isn't that a lot nicer than trying to like pin it to the wall while you're trying to screw stuff into it? Yeah, and I was actually dying to know why you were doing that, so. Yeah. I'm glad I paid attention. I learned that after the first like 50 TVs I've mounted in this house to the walls. See, now you're a pro. Because I usually don't have help when I do it. So it's nice to have little tricks like that in your back pocket. Now I'm gonna go nice and slow. The reason being is this thing is tight and if you go too fast, you can actually heat the bolt up so much it'll snap off. Oh wow. You do not want that to happen. No, there's a reason this thing can hold up a 150 pound television because I mean, these are going deep into the studs. Ladies. Ladies. I should have used a little bit bigger drill bit, but this is just gonna make the bite that much stronger. Right. Which I'd rather have personally when we're putting, you know, a hundred pound, 75 inch TV on yeah, there. Yeah, we don't want it falling. Yeah, I can't afford to buy a new one. Con contrary to people's opinions, YouTube, most YouTubers are not millionaires. We're just thousandaires. <laughs> Sometimes even hundredaires. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Some people in the comments will be like, this video is stupid, everybody can do that, but I guarantee you there's gonna be that one comment there that I gave some dude confidence to go and do it himself. Yep. And he's gonna save himself a hundred bucks because that's how much it costs to get a professional to come out from Amazon or whatever. Now, now make no mistake, if you have a hundred dollars to blow, please do it because I can think of better things that I'd rather be doing than this. But at this point in my life, saving a hundred bucks is pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Bang on center, baby. Oh, thank goodness. I, I was going to start crying you if were, you didn't. You were nervous, huh? Yes. I know. We want to go to bed at some point. Yes, we do. Time to drive in these last two. And I'm going to save you guys from the suffering of this. So, you, honey, put your hand in front of the camera, and then when we come back, it'll be hanging the TV up. All right, so here we have it. It's midnight right now, <laughs> but everything's level and ready to go. So we're gonna lift the TV up and stick it on here. Gently, because I mean, it's kind of flimsy. It's really flimsy, go slow. Yes. There you go. Okay. All right. Boy. Here, let's get it rested on top of the um, dresser. Okay, that sounds hey, like a good go. plan. Okay. Okay. Can you rest it? Oh, God. Now you just gotta be able to lift it over your head. <laughs> Yeah, three, two, one, go. Oh God, I can't hey, do it. Yeah, it's okay. All right, if your wife's too weak, just get your neighbor to help. <laughs> it, it, what time is it, midnight? Yeah, yeah something like that. Let me see if I can lift this up on. All right. Now see the hooks on the back? Yeah. You know the score, right? Yeah. All right, go. Okay, I got my hook on? Yep. Is your hook on? Yep. Cool. Let it lock. And there, okay. That one's not locked yet. It's not locked yet, hold on. There we go. And ta-da! It's in the train. Okay. Like a boss. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? After all these years, I have finally properly mounted the television. Yeah. <laughs> there was no way. I mean, I was struggling. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I know I'm I'm pretty strong, so if oh, I was that's strong. Heavy, that's no doubt. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I called you. I was like, I know you can do it. <laughs> Oh my god. Good job, Lou. All right, guys, thanks to my neighbor saving the day, because this TV is incredibly heavy, we managed to get it up and mounted. Check this out. Hopefully you can see back there just a little bit. Let me see if I can zoom in and if it can do some compensation for the bad light. But you can see it's actually an articulating mount, so we can pull that away from the wall a couple of inches, and we can tilt it up or down, so now we can get it tilted perfectly in line with the bed. I've got these speakers now are going to be hooked up. The stereo receiver is going to go right here. You can already see the cats getting ready to try to jump up there and nail the screen because that's what cats do. Um, on this side, we're going to have the computer and the Xbox. And you can see I'm going to take my old Polk bookshelf speakers and I'm actually going to upfire them just to play around with Dolby Atmos a little bit and see if I can't fart around with it and get it to bounce some sound off the roof. I know it's they're, they're not you know certified speakers for it. But it's always fun to play around. Uh, we're going to use a command hook on the back to hold this Luma cable nice and loose so it doesn't get kinked. Because again, that's that cable that I told you is a million billion dollars. That is definitely the weak link of this TV. And then of course we have the box hooked up and it's on Wi-Fi right now. God, the cat, the cat is really into my video. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. I hope one of you guys learned how to hang a TV. And if you think I did it completely the wrong way, feel free to leave it down in the comments. If you guys want to come follow me on Twitter, I'm at Barnacles over there. If you guys want to see the... The, the private life, nothing like that though. Come on, let's, <laughs> let's keep it, let's keep it professional guys. Okay, maybe a little like that, but over on my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Barnacles, uh, 
I think I'm up to over 100 videos over there, Jerry and the Rods, a series I only do for my patrons. And if you'd like to support the channel, get yourself a Barnacles Nerdgasm shirt at shop.barnnerd.com. Because why the hell not? You're buying everybody else's shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I am seriously tired. I did not expect for this to take this long. So I'm going to bed. I love you guys. Until next time. Roll end credits.